Well, the people have spoken. The Wizarding Trunk. Uh, and I've listened to what you've had to say. The Wizarding Trunk. I get it. If you'd stop interrupting me, I'd tell you that we're going to do our first box by the Wizarding Trunk today. Oh, my apologies. So stick around. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Well, I've been doing LitJoy boxes for a couple months now and everybody has said, if you like LitJoy, give the Wizarding Trunk a try. So I figured I'd try out this first box and see what I thought. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Well, if you look, I mean, their packaging is I mean, a little bit more bland than what LitJoy does. I really like the the design and the pictures that they put on their box. Now, I mean, this is still a neat little box. I mean, it's confidential. It's got their stamps and it says the Owlry here on the front. But, um, but I still am a bigger fan of LitJoy's packaging. So let's take a look and see what we've got inside though now. Now, looking inside, I mean, we've got some some little knickknacks things that uh, that are uh, very uh, interesting to me but i think what we're going to do is we're just going to let's just pull this thing and we'll give it a shot we'll look take a look and see what we've got in this little box here now again guys i have tried my darndest to not look at the reviews that are out there for for everything in this box um there's a ton of people that have that have done them but um, I am trying to kind of be surprised for you guys as well. So we've got a potion. That's our first item. Little little cute bottle of, of potion here. And it says Veritas Truth Serum. So this is, ooh, and when you shake it around, there's uh, some, some uh, color changing element in here that swirls around. Really pretty uh, to look at. Um, Cute little item. This is my first potion. I do not have a potion anywhere in my collection that I'm recalling now, but this is my first potion. So now I will tell you, there's an individual that makes potions on Etsy, and I absolutely want to pick up some of his potions. They look phenomenal. So, and he's got, I mean, a ton of different things. Fe Phoenix feathers, gillyweed, I mean, drought of the living dead. I mean, so many great ones. If you haven't um, gone out to Etsy and just typed in potions, um, trust me, it's completely worth it because there are some great ones on there. Um, without... Uh, beating a dead horse here. Let's go with, uh, we'll go with this one next. So this one says unlocking magic. So I'm going to guess that this is going to be one of their keys. And oh man, that is not easy to, to break into. Give me one second here, guys, while I try and break. <laughs> Maybe you need a key to get into the box. I don't know because man, they've got this sucker. It's like the perfect lid of the box or like the perfect size they don't want to come apart oh there we go okay and like i suspected it is a key i think if you look at this here give you a, a little peek here i believe that this is a key for the ministry of magic it's uh it's got a, little, a couple m's on it um i think that's what this is really really cute key very heavy um so good quality key i like it I mean, do I like it better than the Aloha More Keys from LitJoy? Absolutely not. Those are honestly, guys, one of my favorite things that I've found in a um, secondary, from a secondary company, you know, that isn't like a Warner Brothers or, you know, something like that. I love those keys. And yes, you're saying, Perry, um, if you love those keys so much, why haven't you done a video on them? Because... I'm a perfectionist, guys. I'm so sorry. I want the key video to be perfect for you guys. I really want to be able to showcase the detail of each key so that you can appreciate them because they pour a lot of, of detail into each one of those, and they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. But that video is coming, I promise. 
Uh, I will put that together because I really want to show you those. And there's so many of them now. I mean, I think we're up to 22 with the two that are coming in the next um, box from LitJoy. So um, I'm sorry to keep making comparisons, but that's kind of what this video is about. I'm, I love LitJoy and I love their boxes, um, but this is me giving another company a shot. And I, I mean, Wizarding Trunk has a lot of uh, fan base. I mean, they do have a, a, a lot of following. So let's go uh, with this one next. Just says the Wizarding Trunk on it. Pop this guy open and oh, okay. Uh, this is another first. This is going to be a um, basically a, a, a wax seal that you can apply to um, to your envelopes, stuff like that, anything of, of importance. And the stamper itself, I believe, I think, let's see, what does it say? Boy, is that hard to read in this lighting. It says, um, wow, guys, that's really hard to see, to see. Something from the desk of the... Mm, the minister boy man yes of the minister so it says so that's what it says more gosh from the desk of the minister that was so hard to read i'm so sorry guys but um but yeah so you get your your wax they give you a little wax that you can melt they give you the stamp for that so from the desk from the minister so there we go we are three items down and there's still a lot left in here guys so there's a bunch of good stuff so let's take a look at this next oh my gosh oh <laughs> okay so here we've got an official an official um magical wall department head badge oh and guys let me tell you this is a really great quality i mean it is it's Got a little Velcro thing that you can put on here. It actually has the ability to be used as just a pin. So you can take it out of this case altogether and just pin it on your clothing. Uh, but let me tell you a little secret. You might uh, see this on my hip when you catch me in the streets. <laughs> I mean, this thing is awesome. I absolutely love this. It's got the, the dragon at the top, the three wands at the bottom, it says Magical Law Department Head. This is definitely the, the, my favorite thing that's come in this box so far. I love the badge. So that is, that is a great item. Very, very happy with that one. Uh, let's go with, let's see, what else do we got here? What is this? Oh, oh, now here's another useful item, something I don't currently have. And I would have loved to have had this at, uh, at the park. Um, when you're there all day long, kind of walking around, you're always looking for a convenient place to put your wand. Well, now you've got a wand holster. This is great. And it's even got the Ministry of Magic stamp on it. Uh, I absolutely love this. Can see that this will come in very handy with my next uh, uh, trip to uh, Universal Orlando. So love that. That is another great item. Very happy with that. And then we've got two boxes. So let's see. I'm going to go with the smaller box and keep the bigger box for later. And let's pop this open and see. Oh, oh, okay. We've got a phone booth. Um, I mean, you guys remember the phone booth? I mean, they they ride the phone booth down into the Ministry of Magic, or Arthur and, and Harry. Um, he's never taken this this route before. So I, I absolutely love this. And it's a coin bank. I just now noticed the little slot at the top, and it's got a little uh, thing at the bottom that you can open this up so that you can pull your coins out. Will never be used as a coin bank in, in my collection, but that is a great addition. I think the only other... Um, one of these I've got is, oh, it's, nope, nope, can't see it on camera, but it's came with the Ministry of Magic Lego set. Um, they come with uh, one of the phone booths. So, great little piece there. We'll toss that over there, and let's see, what else do we got in here? Let's look at this one first. We've got, oh, uh, we've got a pin of, here, let's get it out of the wrapper because you will not be able to see it with the glare on the, um, on the camera. But we've got a pin of the veil and Sirius kind of on the other side. 
A little sad. Sad scene, sad moment in the movie. I was, first time I can remember how heartbroken I was when that actually happens in the movie. Because uh, I didn't see it coming. You know, he's just tearing it up there and all of a sudden she blindsides him and, and takes him. And that is a very, very sad movie and a moment, but uh, a, a great little pen. I really do like the pen. The pen is really neat. And I will tell you that there is a great version of the uh, uh, and and it's by by my my favorite a great version of the veil that um arthur bandiera uh just posted on his instagram page the other day i absolutely love it absolutely love it and then there's another gentleman that does one uh, he goes by the wizarding alley and he does one too that actually has an incense burner that puts the smoke up in between two pieces of plexiglass to give it that effect of the of the veil but arthur's version has like a like a resin inside that's cast to give it that same effect love it absolutely love it arthur's top notch guys you know how i feel about him if you if you're here um moving on let's see let's open this up next oh and okay this is oh i know what this is i've seen this in other videos this is going to be i believe one of their book covers um, they do they do those where they release book covers that you can put around different Harry Potter novels uh, to make it look something a little bit more uh, you know just um, I, you know kind of maybe something from the movies or something from that the, from the Wizarding World. This one this book would be called the Unspeakable Guide to Magical Mysteries, and I don't a hundred percent know what version of the book. This will go on, but I know that they put cheat sheets in here that will probably tell you what version of the book um, this will actually wrap around, whether it's the UK or American edition and what specific um, book um, it will go on. Oh, oh, so here's a little something I just stumbled across in the bottom. We've got a coin. Um, give me one second here. Now, guys, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you've ever gotten one of these boxes. I don't know if this is the first time you're seeing this box. I doubt it because I know that it's been out for a while. But I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm absolutely a fan. Now, I'm still ranking Litjoy above the Wizarding Trunk, but I'm really liking the things that, that I've gotten. I get, add some more diversity to my collection, different items that I don't have, um, a, a different way they're presented. I, I really do like them. So um, this particular coin is of, oh, it's of the portals that they, um, that they flash into um, the Ministry of Magic. So the flames on this side and then on the other side, it says issued to senior ministry officials, um, and you've got little little wand, little broom on there. So I'll give you a little close up. So that's that's a neat little item too. Again, not, nothing nothing like uh, anything else that I've got in my collection. And let's see here. And so then, oh oh, we've got one more thing. Jeez, another key. Oh, now this key is awesome looking so they gave you two keys in one box okay all right I, I will take that i like i like some keys and this key looks amazing this key is basically a key to azkaban i mean it's got to be what this is you've got a dementor at the top of the key you've got you know like the spire of the of the, the um uh, azkaban underneath i mean it, this is an amazing looking key. I will definitely be putting this one over in my, my dark art section there, but um, I really like this key. This may have just moved up to my number one item out of this box. Yes. Oh, that is a good key, guys. So place that key right there. Man, they, I will say, they give you a lot of stuff. This is this is a lot of stuff in this box, a lot of different things. So great variety, and we, I think, have gone through all the, the stuff that's in here with the exception of the cheat sheet, and we're down to the big box. And let's take a look. So basically, it's, it's you know, again, Ministry of Magic on here on the, the, this little seal, and it uh, looks like a, a wooden crate, you know, that this is in. Um, no idea. 
what this would be. Got it, my lovely styrofoam. And oh, oh. Oh, guys, this is awesome. This, well, I think we just got my new favorite item out of this box. I know I keep saying that, but this is definitely my favorite item. This is like a replica of the, the statue that's at the, the Ministry of Magic. I believe that's what this is supposed to be. I mean, you've got, you know, you've got an elf, you've got a witch and a wizard and uh, a, a centaur and um, uh, um, a gremlin, or not a gremlin, um, a, a goblin. I mean, this is phenomenal. I really like the, the finish that they gave this, kind of like that, you know, like an old brass statue on this, you know, uh, like a stone base. I really like this a lot. This is going to look great on the shelf. So, I mean, guys... Give me your opinion because, I mean, honestly, uh, man, I, I I really do like this box. This was a great box, a great start to, um, to the uh, Wizarding Trunk. I did not subscribe. I purchased this as a, as a one-off box because, again, I've got the subscription to LitJoy. Who I think... I think I'm gonna have to pass. Uh, I'm gonna have to run this past uh, the boss, but um, I'm gonna have to figure out if if um, I'm gonna subscribe because this is this was a great box. I really enjoyed this box thoroughly. I don't think that there's anything that I'm sitting here looking at that I don't like. Um, great job, Wizarding Trunk. I I mean, kudos to you guys. So let's really quickly um, take a look. Um, oh, well, I guess I wasn't done. I thought this was just the cheat sheet down here, but instead it's um, some, uh, some additional items. You've got an interdepartmental memo um, list here. I mean, it's basically just a, a uh, I mean, you could tear these off and, and use these in day-to-day -day life. I mean, making yourself little notes and memos. So that's, that's cute. Um, then this one is a, oh, Stuff's falling out of here. You've got like a file, like a case file. It doesn't really say, what does it say? No, it does. It says blood report, file name blood report. Uh, department, it says magical something. I Boy, it's really, really tough to read. Something magical discrimination commission, maybe? Yeah. So then when you look inside of here, now here, let me give you an outside look here. So, I mean, there's, there's the file. So then when you open this up, though, you've got... This card, which is a basically a wand registration. Um, I mean, it's got all kinds of little details. It says registration number, owner, length, width, wand core, weakness, wood type. I mean, this is this is cute. This is a, this is a cute little little item that I did not expect. Uh, I really do uh, like this. And then the other page that's in here is a uh, oh, there's two more pages. Uh, there's a magical registration commission, and it basically is showing the the family tree, and it's got stamped counterfeit on uh, on it. So um, I, I like that. And then you've got another thing from the magical registration commission. This is a blood status report, and basically these are all things that you can actually fill out and you can complete with your own information so that you can make this file, you know, custom to you. Um, really, really cute stuff. Again, like I said, I mean, something I, I was not expecting. And then I think maybe this fell out. It looks like it. No, no. Okay, that's the cheat sheet. And then the last thing is, I know they also do the, those pages, the, the Magical Creature pages. Um, so this is another page out of the um, Magical Creatures um, A to Z. This one on one side has the manticore, and I won't even bore you by, by reading all the details that are on there. And the other side has the mer person. So, I mean, so these, these are great. Again, like I said, I don't have any of the other pages. I've seen them out there um, for, you know, sale from, uh, from secondhand uh, people on Mercari and eBay and stuff like that. Um, but I've never picked them up. I, I really like how they, how they give you the, the effect that it's been torn out of the book. So that's really, really a, a, a cool feature. I think a cool, cool detail that they added to that. So, so that now officially takes care of everything. And that brings us to, here, I'll put this over here so we can still see it. And that brings us to the 
um, the cheat sheet. So essentially, uh, department, this particular side of it um, is almost like a, like a permit. It says international travel permit application. And again, you can complete this side and you know, put all your information in here, customize this to, to you. And then on the other side, it gives you basically a breakdown of all the items. And that's a lot of items that were in this box. So, I mean, this is, this is really cool, guys. Um, so it says, number one, an unspeakable guide to magical mysteries. Um, it is the um, Wizarding Workshop. This cover fits the second UK house edition book. So that's what this is. So second edition UK book. So now we know what that goes on. I do not have any of the UK books. Uh, that is definitely a collection I'd like to add. Um, I currently only have uh, the, I have the basic American edition. I have the Gryffindor edition. I have the Mina Lena books. And I also have the um, illustrated editions. So I definitely want to add the UK. I really want to add the Slovak edition. So uh, second thing uh, is the magical travel coin. Only senior ministry officials may travel directly into the ministry. Keep this coin on you at all times. So, so that goes over the coin. Um, it talks about the manticore and merperson creature page, which we just talked about. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Daily memo pad uh, says uh, perfect uh, for um, uh, perfect for planning your day at work, home, or school. All right, uh, portrait pin. The newest portrait pin, perfect for your growing collection. So, I mean, this is per or perfect to start your collection. Um, the wand holster. All wands must be properly secured during working hours. So, there's our holster. Um, work ID card. This ID card must be completely filled out before... Oh, okay. So, that's, uh, that's down here in, in this paperwork stuff. Truth serum. So here we go. Your veritas means truth. And that's exactly what this serum forces you to tell. This virtually clear potion is almost undetectable and highly regulated. Bottled by pure blood apothecary. So this is cute. I like how they give you the, the details of, of, of this stuff. Uh, minister key. This key allows access to the minister's office. So, um, so there's the minister key. And then let's see, Minister's Wax Seal. We already been over that one. Uh, telephone Booth Coin Bank, yep. Uh, entry Statue, so I was right. So this statue welcomes all visitors. So love that statue. Uh, department Head Badge says, congratulations on your promotion to Magical Law Department Head, right? Um, so, I mean, so there's my badge. It is official. When you see me walking around town with this strapped to the hip, don't, don't question it, okay? Um, and then we've got um, the magical documents, which we've already been over. So this, they don't mention this at all. This is uh, a little sneaky add-on that they that they threw into this box, and I'm not upset. I mean, this is this is absolutely great. I'm so happy that this got tossed into my box, uh, whether by accident or on purpose. I love that key. Uh, that key is my second favorite item, uh, but um, all in all, great items, guys. I mean, comment below. Let me know what you think. I think that this was a fantastic box. I'm very happy that I uh, gave the Wizarding Trunk a try, and I am I'm more than likely going to subscribe. We'll just keep that between you and me for right now. But um, I, I think they do a great box. I mean, there's a lot of great little items here um, that I'm going to love to display on my shelf in different ways. I got to figure all that out. But um, but give me your thoughts. Let me know. Is are, are you Do you like any of this stuff? Is there one item in particular that you'd like to pick up? Because I know that the Wizarding Trunk is really good about uh, breaking out all these items to purchase individually. Right? It's definitely a, a value to get the box and get it all bundled together, but you can purchase, all, I believe, all of this stuff I've seen on their site for sale separately. So, um, Other than that, guys, 
please, please, if you're here, you've got made it this far, please subscribe if you haven't by now. Uh, click the bell notification. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, and also head over to Instagram. Instagram is, uh, is my favorite little outlet for daily fun things. I've done some creepy things of lately, but also lots of fun things. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I really appreciate you coming in and joining me for another magical video. Um, very happy to share this uh, first uh, magical or wizarding trunk box with you guys. But until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.